CBS News Justice reporter Paula Reed uh, joins us now from our Washington Bureau to talk about this case and uh, Paula, legal battles between the inmates, the state and drug companies have so far kept four men from being executed this month. I'm just wondering when it's this close to an execution, when it's this divided, um, just walk us through some of the options the inmates themselves have in, in a life or death situation like this. Well, Errol, the last word on any contested execution is going to be the Supreme Court. Most of the men who are scheduled to be executed by the end of the month, they are trying to seek relief from any court they can. The state courts, the state appeals courts, the state Supreme Court, the federal courts, the federal appeals courts, and of course the state, the, the national Supreme Court. But so far, Errol, even though they've tried many different arguments from arguing that this is unconstitutional, saying that this schedule is, is not fair, that it violates the U.S. Constitution, to then trying to argue that the health, some of these men have health problems, that their health actually makes it more likely that they will suffer adverse consequences of this medicine. None of these arguments so far have been successful in keeping these men from execution. And as we just showed there, they have until Sunday to figure all of this out. At what point can the inmates no longer appeal? Well, it's, you know, it's a delicate subject, but in my research and in my reporting at first, I would have thought, well, I guess as soon as an execution takes place, that inmate can no longer appeal. But it turns out, Errol, that the last state that tried to execute two people back to back, what happened, it was in Oklahoma, they used a similar drug cocktail, and what happened is the first execution had complications, and that caused the second execution to be delayed. So, Errol, it seems that even once an execution is undertaken, if there are complications, potentially that inmate and certainly the next inmate to be executed and the others could potentially file a new appeal and potentially get a delay. Now, as, as we mentioned, essentially every group involved in this is divided. Can drug companies themselves appeal on behalf of the inmates? There are reports that um, one drug company at least feels that it's been misled as to what its product is being used for. Well, some of the drug companies, they are on the record as objecting to this use of the drug, as to objecting to these executions, but they can't actually file legal appeals on behalf of these inmates. Certainly, they are an important and a very loud voice in this debate, but they cannot help get these inmates any kind of legal repri reprieve from potential execution. So then what happens to the inmates in Arkansas if they are not executed before this lethal drug expires? The state has said that it is going to abide by the FDA's expiration date for these drugs. So they're not going to use, they say, these drugs after the expiration date. But, Errol, they've still been sentenced to death, these men, however many are left at the end of the month. And it doesn't mean that they won't eventually be executed because the state argues that it has an obligation to carry out the will of these juries that have sentenced these men to death. There are, as we know, other ways to execute people, though most of the states in the United States that do execute people use lethal injection. So it's possible that they will find other drugs or other means to carry out these executions in the future. Yeah, it's a fascinating kind of legal uh, twisted knot in a way and, and really is a life or death uh, situation. Paula Reed joining us from Washington. Thanks very much. Thank you.